Hello everybody, it's me Vincent and we are here today at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter here at Universal to try out their most popular snack that they have got here, some good old fashioned butterbeer. Now, you're probably wondering, oh, which butterbeer treat are you gonna try today? Well, I'm gonna try all of them. We are gonna order every single butterbeer treat that you can get here at Universal, starting from frozen butterbeer all the way to potted cream. We're gonna try them all, we're gonna rank them, and we're gonna find out which one is the best bang for your buck. What is the best butterbeer treat they've got here? So welcome to the latest episode of Vincent Vision. Watch out. Butterbeer, butterbeer, butterbeer. What is there to say about butterbeer that hasn't been said already? It is one of the most popular drinks here you can get at Universal Orlando. They've been serving it ever since the Wizarding World of Harry Potter has been opened in 2010. And in 2018, they had sold up to 20 million cups of butterbeer. And ever since that time, it has been a lot easier to get butterbeer however you want it here at Universal. Off the top of my head, there's frozen butterbeer, there's cold butterbeer, there's butterbeer ice cream, there's butterbeer cream, there's butterbeer fudge, there's hot butterbeer that they only serve at a certain time of year. Lots and lots of butterbeer. And today, we're here at Universal because we are gonna try them out. I'm gonna try and get every single type of butterbeer snack that you can get here. I'm gonna taste them all and uh, tell you how I think, give you my personal rankings, thinking if you're coming here to Universal and you're only gonna get one butterbeer snack, which you probably should, because they're like really, really sweet, we're gonna try and figure out which one's gonna be the best one to get. So without further ado, let's apparate into it. Apparate is like jump, you know, like let's jump into. Anyway, let's get this started. We are gonna start off with Florian Fortescue's ice cream parlor, because this has the longest line all the time. Thank you. This is really tricky to do, ah, but I'm off here in a socially distant corner. I'm here in a little quiet corner in Diagon Alley, the only quiet corner I can find in this place. You can eat and drink here at Universal if you're a step to the side, and you can take your mask off, have your treats. Our first one here is the Butterbeer Ice Cream. Let me try to explain my, uh, my parameters here for how I'm gonna be ranking these treats. So all these treats here, they're all gonna pretty much taste the same, just in their own different versions. I'm gonna try to explain this for the ice cream melts. <laughs> Universal has done a really, really good job with the flavor of butterbeer, where every sort of butterbeer thing you can get from the fudge, the ice cream, the drinks, they all kind of taste the same. So we're not really looking much for flavor, maybe how that flavor is delivered to us. And the ice cream here, you know, you get to walk around with it. It's sweet, but it's not too sweet, which is really, really big points for me. Butterbeer is really, really sweet. And this here, I think, if I remember correctly, gives you a pretty good amount of sweet, but not too much. You know, you get some of the butterbeer, but it's more of like a vanilla ice cream mixed in with the butterbeer. So here, let's give it a little, little taste here. Forgive the ice cream mustache, but uh, my hands are kind of busy right now. <laughs> You're probably gonna see a lot more butterbeer mustaches throughout the day. The butterbeer ice cream is pretty darn good. It's got that little taste of butterscotch that you taste in the butterbeer. It's got a little bit of that shortbread, that sort of cookie taste, and then it's got the vanilla ice cream. This right here, the butterbeer ice cream is pretty darn solid, but let's see how it compares to frozen and cold butterbeer, the OGs. They've got all butterbeer everything here, including sweaters, hats, t-shirts. Uh, we're not gonna taste these. I don't think the t-shirt's gonna taste very good. I wouldn't recommend this. All right, our next stop is Leaky Cauldron, where we are gonna actually be able to knock out four butterbeer treats on our list. We're gonna be able to get frozen, cold, potted cream, and, to my surprise, hot butterbeer. I think they're still serving hot butterbeer here. Here we are at the Leaky Cauldron. Since I'm ordering a dessert, I have to be seated at the table. So we're just gonna pull up the Universal Orlando app here and order all the butterbeer stuff. <laughs> Let's get one butterbeer, one butterbeer potted cream, one frozen butterbeer, and one hot butterbeer, and a cup of water. <laughs> awesome, thank you. Oh man, here they are. We got four in one spot right over here. We got the, what is this? This, we got the frozen butterbeer, we got the cold butterbeer, we got the hot butterbeer, we got the potted cream over here in this nice little glass tiny mason jar. Oh buddy, look at all this butterbeer, hot, cold, frozen, potted cream right here. I'm gonna try and try all of it. I should have brought someone else with me to do this. Let's look inside the potted cream. Oh, this is cute. I like this little swirl. It is time to begin the butterbeer tasting Olympics here. <laughs> We're gonna start off with the frozen butterbeer here. This is probably my favorite. This is, I think, the most useful right off the bat, especially on these hot Florida days. This frozen is great and it's not as sweet as the cold, but here, let's give it a little taste. Yeah, 
that's pretty great. That's good. Just as good as I remember. You still get that little butterscotch, but it's not so like crazy sweet. So this is a good one. Butterbeer sweet, you know, surprise, surprise. So if you're getting these drinks and these treats, like I would definitely recommend sharing it because unless you're like a kid, <laughs> I can't barely keep up with these anymore. <laughs> I shouldn't have all this, but I'm doing this video, I gotta do it. Now see the big difference between the frozen and the cold, which I have here now, this is a carbonated beverage. So this is a little bit easier to drink, easier for one person to finish, I think. And you also get the classic butterbeer mustache. Ready? You see? That's it right there. That's what some people buy butterbeer for, and it's good. <laughs> the froth is really, really sweet, though. I remember the cold one, the first time I ever came here, I went back home and I like tried to recreate it with like a cream soda and like vanilla froth, like these instructions that I saw online how to do it. Obviously, um, it's not as good as the actual one you can get here, but I think it was pretty darn close. And then we've got the hot butter beer here, which I thought was seasonal, but I, I guess we're still in the season. You know, it's February now and it's pretty warm. I know they normally sell this during December and January, the colder times, but you know, I'm very lucky that we had it because I didn't think I was gonna be able to include this in the video today. I have only had this once and I didn't really like it. It was like a really sweet latte. So let me see if I still, let's see what it's like now, I guess. Yeah, it, 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 is, like, it is like a butterscotch latte and it's not as sweet as I remember so like it's not bad but not really what I would go for out of the, all the beveraged butter beers it's my least favorite which is a shame too because this is how it's like served in the books in the movies and stuff like that butter beer is normally hot but here in Florida I prefer cold butter beer then we've got the potted cream right over here which I think I I had that one time and I didn't really like it, but we'll, we'll try it again for the video. Get a little scoopy scoopy of that. See, it's like, ooh, I'm mm, not excited about this. It's not awful. Mm, okay, eh, it's definitely potted cream. <laughs> it's just butterbeer cream. This is, uh, this is bad. I'm not a fan. Mm -mm. I don't like that one. So something cool that I was informed of while I was trying all these butterbeers by one of the servers was that they're actually serving hard pack butterbeer ice cream here at the Leaky Cauldron as of like two or three weeks ago, which is really, really great. I think they only served this exclusively in Universal Hollywood for a while, so I'm excited to see it here. And I guess I gotta order it, so let me get back on the mobile order app and do that now. Thank you so much. Oh, that's nice and cold. Look at this. I almost like just want to take this home. This is so cool. <laughs> Stick it in my freezer. Now when it comes to ice cream, whether I'm a hard pack kind of guy or a soft serve ice cream, I think I like the hard pack a little bit more just cause like I like ice cream at home in the freezer while I'm watching a movie, you know? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if I'm a fan of this one. I'm not a fan of that one. Not, didn't like that that much. I was kind of excited for that and it was just okay. So that's a shame. And of course, a little water before we leave the Leaky Cauldron just to cleanse the palate. We've got one more butterbeer treat to try. If you're wondering when the next time I'm gonna have butterbeer anything is gonna be, it's probably not gonna be for like another year because <laughs> just even trying all this butterbeer is, is, is getting me good. We got one more stop on our butterbeer tour. We're gonna head inside Sugar Plum's Sweet Shop to pick up some butterbeer fudge. The sweetest of them all, I bet. Sugar Plums is where you can get all of your boxed treats here at the Wizarding World, and you can also get some cold treats as well. Let's see, we've got the no melt ice cream, some chocolate skeletons. Oh, there it is, our butterbeer fudge. All right, here it is in all of its fudgy goodness. Some good old butterbeer fudge. I guess there's only really one way to just do this, just bite into it, let's see. Okay, ooh. I actually really, really like the butterbeer fudge. I thought this was gonna be at the bottom of my list. I was expecting it to be really, really sweet, but I think you taste the butterbeer flavors really, really well with the fudge. So the fudge is pretty great, but it's pretty thick and it's pretty big as well. So maybe I would share this with your family, but this is good, this is good. This is a pleasant surprise. Oh, I'm surprised I'm still walking at this point. My stomach feels a little twisty because I've had a lot of, a lot of sugar, but we have finished having all of our butterbeer souvenirs so we can now step out of the Wizarding World. We can get on out of here and get ready to rank them all. 
First things first, I want to give an honorable mention to my two actual favorite treats that I get here at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Fizzing Wizbies, the box candy. It's like a chocolate with like strawberry pop rocks. I think they're so good. That is definitely my favorite like candy here in the Wizarding World. And you know, I gotta say it, I love me some pumpkin juice. Pumpkin juice is my favorite drink to get in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Not the bottle though, the one on tap. I love, I love, I love that sort of cinnamony, that kind of Thanksgiving taste that pumpkin juice has. That's my actual favorite. But here in the world of Harry Potter, butterbeer is king. And we tried them all today. We have our list of what is the best and what is not so great. And uh, I'm gonna tell you that list right now. These are all my personal opinions, of course. So everyone's gonna have their own opinions on butterbeer, but this is what I came up with based off everything I tasted today. So first one at the top of the list, it's gotta be the Butterbeer Soft Serve Ice Cream. I thought that was just the best one. It had some taste of Butterbeer, but it also had some taste of really, really good ice cream. It felt like the most like adult snack, if that makes any sense, as in like something an adult can finish from beginning to end. Second, I gotta go ahead and say, Frozen Butterbeer. Frozen Butterbeer was number two on my list. I thought that was just the right amount of sweet. You know, it, it tasted a little bit different than the others, and it's just like a good practical snack to get here on a very, very hot Florida day, which there are a lot of them. Number three for me has gotta be Butterbeer Fudge. Like, honestly, it was really, really good. It was really, really tasty. I didn't expect it to be that subtly sweet. I always thought my teeth were gonna rot out the second I bought into it. Number four, right in the middle, was the cold butterbeer. I liked it, and you know, it's great to get that butterbeer mustache. I think that's such like an iconic thing that happens when you order butterbeer, something people expect. It's like just okay, you know? It, it's very comparable to like a cream soda, and you know, it, it's, it's easy to reproduce, and I think because of that, it's just like kind of down the middle, you know what I mean? Hot butterbeer, I, I was not a fan of. I, uh, you know, I, I don't really like hot drinks in general, but I just like wasn't that impressed with the hot butterbeer. I'm sure on a cold day, it'd be really nice, but it's just felt like a really, really sweet latte and if I was gonna get a really hot drink I'd just get a coffee. The hard pack ice cream wasn't that great. It was not, I was expecting it to be just on the same level as the soft serve but it was like really frosty, it was really flaky and then the absolute bottom it's got to be that potted cream. That was not good at all. That was like oh I felt like I was eating like a uh, like cake batter or something. Like it was just so, so sweet. And that's just right down there at the bottom for me. And of course, these are my opinions. So, you know, you can come here and you can love the potted cream or you can love the cold over the frozen, but this is just like based off of my experience. Someone who comes to these theme parks every so often. So with that being said, that is all I've got. So, hey, thank you guys for watching Vincent Vision. Please be sure to like, subscribe, tell your friends, all that good stuff. Watch some more of my videos. When you come to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, I mean, you gotta have butterbeer, right? There's so many to choose from, and I hope I've given you guys an idea as to which ones you wanna try. If you've been here before and you have a favorite butterbeer, you think, hey, you're doing the right thing, Vincent, or no, your opinion is completely wrong, crazy, please let me know in the comments. I'd like to hear it. But until then, it is time to go home. It's time to skip dinner. It's time to brush my teeth seven times over, and it is time to <laughs> probably, probably not have butterbeer again for like a year. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you around. Bye-bye.